In this video, I'll be breaking down the biomechanics in the associated anatomy behind the well-known inside trip takedown in jiu-jitsu or wrestling, which is also known as the ouchigari in judo. So first we're going to start with the wrestling version. So it's the inside trip or the you know no-gi jiu-jitsu environment. This is Kerry Colat. Uh, he's got a, a pretty good YouTube channel. <clears throat> he's a great wrestler back in the day. So his uh, YouTube channel is going to be linked in the description. And since the setup on these are, are really different, I want to focus mainly on what's happening at the hip to capture that leg for the inside trip. So as it, he takes a two-on-one approach, he snaps it. And the first thing that needs to happen when he snaps his opponent is those hips need to be perpendicular to the line of his opponent's hips because not many people have enough internal rotation to actually get down uh, and reach that that leg around and capture that leg. So you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So hips are perpendicular to his, he cuts the angle, he abducts the hip or brings the hip leg away from the body. As he does that, he internally rotates his hip to get behind his leg. He kind of drops down a little bit too. And as he flexes his knee, he actually extends his hip as well. So knee flexion and hip extension. Watch right here and watch right here. So abduction, knee flexion, hip extension, and then as his knee drops to the ground, he actually externally rotates the hip back to neutral to capture that leg. And you'll see it at a better angle here in a second. Once he captures that leg, he forcefully flexes the trunk and finishes the takedown, okay? So he sets it up again. This is a different angle. You'll see it a little bit better. So two on one, snaps him, and he's got his hips, again, perpendicular to the line of his opponent's hips. So hip abduction, knee flexion and hip extension again, and then once his knee hits the ground, capturing his foot, he externally rotates and flex to back to neutral to capture that foot flexes the spine, or excuse me, flexes the trunk with rectus abdominis and internal external obliques and finishes the takedown. So we'll watch it in full speed one time before we move to the next one. It's really quick. Snap, boom. So now this takes us to the o Uchigari, right? The inside trip with the gi on. You can do this, I mean, obviously in, in uh, jiu-jitsu with the gi, um, but this is an, a one-on -on throw in judo. Uh, and the setup is quite a bit different. You don't need a two-on-one because you just grab the collar, one of the setups, you just grab the collar and you've got the gi on the back side of the elbow over here. This is how Shintaro Higashi, this is his YouTube channel. I used him, uh, his videos last week when we talked about the arm throw. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. Uh, but this setup is quite a bit different and you'll see how there's a little bit of a nuance in the way that he does it versus with wrestling as there often is. So he starts off with the hip, you know, I've, so the first thing you want to notice is the, the hip angle, right? So it's still perpendicular to his opponent's hips. Then he abducts, brings that leg away. And as he does it, he forcefully flexes that. So he doesn't use as much internal rotation and he doesn't really have to because he's not dropping his leg down or his knee down to the floor. However, he forcefully flexes that knee to capture the back side of the other guy's knee, or his opponent's knee, since he's not dropping that knee down, okay? And what that allows him to do is just use his body weight to finish the throw, right? So he doesn't even have to flex at the trunk very much. Okay, so if we bring it back, hips perpendicular, abducting using glute med, flexing using hamstrings. He's internally rotating a little bit using the TFL. Uh, and, and maybe the piriformis with the, with the hip in the, the angle that it is. He doesn't extend the hip as much as Kerry Collette did. He captures the back of the knee and then finishes with just his body weight. So we'll watch it in full speed one time. This is actually pretty quick here. And boom. So both are very effective uh, and you need a lot of hip stability and mobility to be able to do this takedown. So as you can see, the inside trip or the Ouchigari requires a really good setup with a pretty good combination of hip mobility and stability. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.